What we did today was called Wildland Firefighting Exercise 2015. Uh, an event like this prepares the pilots and the flight crew for a real life fire event because this is literally exactly what we would do if we got the call and had to go fight a fire. This was a little bit more canned because we knew exactly where we were going, we knew exactly where we were going to pick water up, and we knew exactly where we were going to drop it. We had the Helco, which is a civilian uh, sheriff's department aircraft with a CAL FIRE uh, terminal controller who's called the Helco, and he's essentially a terminal controller uh, and controls all the other aircraft in that objective area. So he was controlling us today and giving us calls and direction onto the simulated fire, just like he would be giving us direction onto an actual fire. Uh, when we got on deck, uh, both aircraft took out their buckets and, and set them up off to the side of the aircraft at the three o'clock position. And now we took off and, and we started executing the fire bucket operation. Uh, the one that the 53s use is called Bambi buckets. It's a 900 gallon bucket. Uh, it weighs about 5,400 pounds. The sequence for that was uh, the landslide, the aircraft, the Navy H-60 took off, and he would uh, dip his bucket, and then as he was uh, leaving there, we came in behind him, and we would dip our bucket. Um, the Ospreys came in a little bit later uh, and had to tr do a little bit of troubleshooting on their bucket, but eventually they got into the pattern as well, and they were behind us. We did probably, I think, four dips and four drops uh, to demonstrate the capability. Uh, then we landed in the zone, derigged the buckets, and then we uh, proceeded back out of the airspace uh, and returned to base. We executed a day in exactly the same manner that we would execute if we were called to fight an actual fire, either on an installation or off an installation. The procedure is exactly the same, so the training is excellent.